I would just like to pose a question to myself, which is, Helen, why is it that you always leave everything until the very last second and choose to do everything at once on the last day that you could do any of it? <laughs> why did I decide I was gonna vlog today? I'm also packing for a flight to London that leaves in, well, what time is it? Okay, it leaves in nine hours, so I have some time, but I have to be at the airport early because it's an international flight and I have a lot to do today. So here we go. The reason why I wanted to vlog today was just because today I'm getting ready for a flight to London that leaves tonight at 6 p.m. And I wanted to just take you through how I prep for a flight, although clearly I'm not the most organized. I have done this quite a bit, so I've picked up a few, few things along the way. I do tend to leave packing to the last possible minute, which is what I have done today in true Helen fashion. And if you're wondering why I have the full face of makeup on is because I have a brand campaign to shoot today mere hours before I leave for the airport. What did I say about piling it all up on the last day? Yeah, that's what I do. That's me. Cool. So I have my main big suitcase, this guy. This one is from Away. This is where I'm gonna put most of my stuff. And then I've got this carry-on suitcase. This one is from Baze, Shea Mitchell's brand. And I'm gonna put some stuff in there. It's good to travel with two because you can alleviate some of the weight from that one and also have anything valuable or that you cannot stand to lose goes with you on the plane. And then I have my backpack. This is my my go-to travel bag. It holds my laptops, my electronics, and a bunch of other stuff that I need on hand. One of my main travel tips is to compartmentalize everything. The more containers you have to put stuff in, the better. This packing strategy will save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. It'll be great when you get there and you can just pull out your bags rather than have one big bag with stuff swimming around in it, which is Zach's packing strategy. It never works out in his favor. <laughs> in terms of packing strategy of what to pack is you really have to devote some mind share to the packing process. If you mindlessly pack, which is so tempting to do, you won't pack the things you actually need. One way to do this is just devote a day to packing and really get in the headspace of packing to think about what do you actually need on this trip. For example, I'm going to London. I'm actually going to be staying in the Cotswolds, which is the countryside with my family, and we are going to be doing a whole lot of nothing. So do I need to pack a bunch of extravagant dresses and over-the-top outfits? No. What am I actually going to wear? Sweatpants. Let's be real. Every single day I'm going to wear sweatpants. After the countryside, we will be going to London the city. At that point in the trip, I'm gonna need some more dressy outfits. I'm gonna be there for New Year's. I don't know what I'm wearing for New Year's, but I'm just gonna pack some options and then I'm gonna be walking the streets of London. I'm gonna wanna probably have some cute outfits for that. But it's being realistic about the percentages of each item or of each category that I need. I'm not perfect. I am a chronic overpacker. I would rather have options than less options. I know some people like to plan out the exact outfits that they'll be wearing every day and even take photos. This is a tip if you are OCD and <laughs> just overly organized. I don't do this, but you can try on each look down to the accessories and then, you know, approve it beforehand. Take a photo of it in the mirror and then make an album called London 2021. Put all of your outfits in there so that when you get there, you can just refer to that album and be like, okay, this is my outfit. I don't do that. That's to me a little bit psychopathic, although it would be very helpful. I'm not that organized. I like to have options because I change my mind constantly. I want to be able to pull different pieces together together to make different outfits. So my piece of advice, if you're not that personality type, is just to bring a bunch of basics that all are in the same scheme of color, of style. Don't bring some bright pink top if you know your whole wardrobe is gonna be neutrals. You need to bring things that can intertwine into different outfits. Yeah, I should probably stop talking now and actually do some packing. <laughs> Sidebar, my packing situation is a little bit more unique because I am packing for Christmas, and so I'm packing Christmas gifts for my family, which I tried to pick out smaller items, but I still have a pile of gifts that I need to pack, which is kind of nice in a way because it'll free up some space depending on the gifts that I receive. <laughs> it'll free up some space for shopping. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> sweats. More sweats. 
Note about my actual packing strategy is I always hack like this accordion style. It kind of mimics like how you would put your clothing in a big drawer. This way you can see everything that you have and when you're unpacking, everything's already folded. You can just pull them out already folded, pop them in a drawer. Or if you like to live out of a suitcase while you're traveling and you don't unpack, this makes it so easy. You see everything that you have without having to mess it all up. I've just been putting things in that I know I will wear that I can you know mix and match with other pieces but there's no shame in taking things out you put everything in if it's too much or if you're like you know what I can actually go without two pairs of jeans I can just do one pair take them out it's okay you just have to get a feel for how much space you have and what you actually need let's continue <laughs> this packing cube I have all of my underwear a bikini always bring a bikini even if you're going to a cold climate you never know when there's gonna be a hot tub or a spa or whatever bras nipple covers socks and extra beanies done Pack. Today has been totally crazy. I just had a call, which went really well. I just curled my hair as well, as you may have noticed. I am shooting a sponsored brand shoot campaign thing with my good friend Alyssa today. So she's coming over in like an hour. We're gonna shoot that. And then I'll have like probably an hour or two after that to finish up packing. So yeah, today is insane. I am back and I'm ready to continue packing. I wanna get as much done as I can before Alyssa gets here. So I'm not like scrambling, which is usually what I am doing when I'm packing. So let's continue. It's kind of a unique setup because of the Christmas gifts. So I've got my Christmas gifts in my carry-on. The ones that are non-liquid, anything that has liquid in it, I'm putting it in my check. I don't want to deal with it, you know, getting taken, but all of the other Christmas gifts that are solid are in my carry-on. So they're taking up quite a bit of space. And then another tip I have for bringing a carry-on, obviously bringing a carry-on is great because you have a place to put your heavy backpack or purse. If you have a carry-on, you can roll it on that, which is ideal. Also, you never know when your time is coming to lose your luggage. For someone like me who travels so much, it's bound to happen. It did happen to me once, twice actually. In both cases, I got my bag back, but you just never know when you're gonna be stuck with whatever you brought on the plane. So you should always bring at least one outfit and then all of your valuables, all of your nice bags or whatever, all always, always, always put them in your carry-on unless you're okay with losing them. I always have a pair of sweats and whatever I need to clean my face. I always bring my makeup in my carry-on, things like that, that I know if I lose everything else, I'll be able to like have some sort of a trip and I can just go shopping. That's my rule of thumb for what to pack in a carry-on. Okay, so I'm packing my favorite pair of jeans in my carry-on, lest anything happen to my bag. A long sleeve top. These are things that I can wear again and again if I lose my luggage. This is a cashmere set that I am planning on living in. <laughs> my goodness, my room is an absolute disaster right now. I wanted to show you guys how I pack puffer jackets and chunky jackets. It will compress to a very small size as long as you are able to secure it. So what I like to do is use a belt and then you're gonna treat it exactly like you would a sleeping bag. Fold it up and then you're gonna roll it as small as you can, just like you do with your sleeping bags <laughs> until it's a tiny little sausage. And then you take your belt and you secure. You take your belt and you keep it as compressed as you can. This may not have been the best belt to use for this method. This isn't my best work, okay? I think a, a more traditional belt works better, but yeah, you end up with a fairly small little sausage. See how nicely the puffer fit in there? It doesn't take up much space and it's obviously a very lightweight jacket to begin with. You can honestly roll them even tighter than I did. There's two other very important categories of packing that you need to hit. The first one is my electronics. So I have to really think this through. Do I have my hard drives? Do I have all the memory cards, all the cameras and the camera chargers, the laptops, the laptop chargers, the Kindles, the Kindle chargers, etc., etc. All of that stuff goes in this bag. This is my backpack that I bring on the plane with me. I put my makeup, 
in the front. I always have my makeup on hand. I don't want to lose my makeup. That would be a disaster. Sometimes if I'm going on a brand trip, I want to like freshen up before I land. And then my electronics will all go in my backpack as well. So I have them safe on my body. And then the next big category, which is honestly a recent category for me, my wellness supplies. What I will do for that is I'm going to have two bags. One bag, this little baggie, is going to have all of my stuff that I will need on the plane with me. I'm going to fill this bag with wellness items that I will put in my checked bag. So I have my checked wellness and my carry-on wellness. My wellness routine, supplements and things like that has only really started <laughs> this year. Like now I'm one of those people that swears by their morning routine. I wanted to share something that changed my life that honestly my whole morning routine stemmed from this one Thing. Don't be intimidated because this is not a extensive routine whatsoever. I like to just figure out, find the few things that make a difference, stick to those, and then I don't need any of the other fluff. I just want what works. You may know I have shared across all my platforms that I have started taking Seed. Seed is my little knight in shining armor that came into my life and changed everything, specifically my gut and my skin. <laughs> I'm bringing both of my Seed containers with me on this trip because I want this guy on the plane when I wake up at whatever ungodly hour I wake up at I know that if I take two of these my body will feel more like okay It's morning time and then I'm gonna be gone for so long I just know that I'm gonna need like my full stash So I'm bringing this but seed is an incredible daily symbiotic what that is essentially a probiotic and a prebiotic in one This is such an amazing product for a multitude of reasons seed is committed to science They have such a scientific scientific integrity behind these products, the amount of research that went into creating this product is really first and foremost, the reason why I am so trusting in this product. But I also love their integrity around partnering with people on social media. As you know, I'm clearly working with them, which is an honor. But in order to partner with Seed, I had to take a mini university course to fully understand the science behind this product and why it actually works and the history and why it's effective. I just respect that so much and I think that that should be the standard for all brand partnerships. Like you should really understand what it is you're first of all taking, let alone promoting. So everyone knows that gut health is very important. You may have taken a probiotic before and felt like nothing really happened, didn't have an effect, you didn't really see any improvement in your digestion and there's a really good reason for that which I learned through taking the Seed University course which is our digestive system is built to break everything down. You can't survive through the human digestive system unless you are designed to. Seed found a way to design the capsule that contains the pro and prebiotic that it will survive through all of those areas that are very difficult to survive through, through the human digestive system, so that it can actually deliver the strain to the spot of the colon where it will be effective. That is, I think, the number one reason why seed is so effective because it actually gets to where it's supposed to go to deliver what it's supposed to deliver to do what it's supposed to do. Scientifically studied to help ease in digestion and bloating, gut immunity, gut health. If you're healing your gut, that is gonna have a trickle down effect of so many health benefits. Your heart health, your cardiovascular health, your skin health. The first thing that I changed when I saw an impact on my skin was I started taking seed. The texture was, it was smoother, it seemed clearer. I still was getting hormonal breakouts, which I think were a different cause entirely, but for the majority of my skin, the rest of my face, it cleared up quite quickly after taking seed. And I swear, swear to, swear to God. <laughs> that was an incredible benefit that I saw from taking seed. I've talked to many people who saw the same. Of course, the main thing is help with digestion. So if you suffer with bloating or anything like that, this can really aid in that. Another incredible thing I love about seed is their sustainability. The way that they approach their packaging, it's all so eco-conscious. You get sent this jar just the first time and then they have a refill system with totally biodegradable compostable packs that you can then just refill the same jar. You don't need a million of these jars. You can keep this one. You can tell it's been through some good times. Same with this one. You just refill this one as well. I love the initiative that Seed is taking on sustainability and I applaud them and we'll use this jar forever. 
seat is coming with me wherever I go. And so I've got the big guy in here and I got the little guy that I'm taking with me on my plane ride. And then some of the other things I have in here, this is like my daily multivitamin that I swear by, my CBD gummies that have melatonin in them. These are key, especially for jet lag. I've got my spironolactane. This is a prescription that I take actually to treat the hormonal breakouts that I just mentioned. And I've seen amazing results with that too. DM me on Instagram if you want more info because I don't have time to tell another whole spiel about that product. I've got my vitamin D to keep my immunity up. It's not a lot. It's just the stuff that I find works the best for me. Do I also have some Advil? I tend to get headaches as well as this throat spray. This is like a honey spray that you can spray in your throat, which is nice if you get a dry irritated throat. And yeah, I've got my CBD gummies, the little version in here too. So I can take those on the flight if I want. Health stuff is packed. Makeup is packed. I'm almost done. I'm like 90% done. I think Alyssa is going to be here soon. So I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to shoot here and I'm going to set up the scene and then come back to the final things that I need to pack after I do the shoot. And then I'm off to the airport. Ah! Another thing you might be wondering about is jewelry. Well, I'm definitely not fully 100% a packing expert because I haven't really figured out my jewelry packing situation yet. Like I have a big jewelry holder, but it's too bulky for dainty jewelry that I'm gonna pack. This is not what I recommend doing necessarily because if you have nice jewelry, it tends to get tangled, but I just throw all my jewelry for a trip in here and then throw this in my backpack. I never claimed to be the most organized. I never said that. All right, party people, we did it. I'm all packed up. My room is chaos, pure and utter chaos. But uh, I didn't really do anything about that because I gotta go. This is my airport outfit. I'm wearing black sweatpants that I will wear throughout the trip. I'm wearing these combat boots. They're really heavy. That alleviates weight from the luggage. I'm wearing this Joa Brown really silky, lightweight, soft long sleeve top. It's really light, so I know if I'm too hot, I can just wear this and it'll cool me down. I'm gonna wear this big fluffy furry coat. And this is almost like just like wearing a blanket, honestly. <laughs> Zach's gonna drop me off at the airport. We're running out the door. Whew, Alyssa and I just wrapped up filming. It's been like such a chaotic day, by the way. <laughs> Look at my vlogging setup. I don't know if anyone who's been watching my videos remembers, but I once swore that I was never gonna use this camera again. I wanted to give my new little point and shoot a chance and it completely failed me. I will not be using it ever again. I just got this camera and it kept overheating on me, so I, I condemned it, <laughs> but I whipped it back out because I can't be vlogging on my iPhone and I don't want to use a massive camera. So this is a happy medium. So we're gonna take this to London and see how it does. And then Zach got me this mic set up for my birthday. We are running to the airport now. I've got my backpack. It's all packed, stuffed to the brim. Most of my luggage is actually stuffed to the brim. And the reason for that is because I'm packing Christmas gifts. As soon as I unload these gifts, I'm gonna have so much more space and things won't be overflowing. For now, we're just stuffing it to the brim. <laughs> okay, let's go to the airport. Zach's cornhole boards are in the way, of course. Mm -hmm. Always in the way. I talk to my loves like that. No, no, talk to me like that. <laughs> We're in the car. Zach's dropping me off at the airport. I cannot wait to be on that plane, take some CBD, and chill. Because <laughs> today has been just go, go, go. But got it all done. I somehow managed to pack and vlog that I was packing while I was packing, which is an accomplishment. I shot with Alyssa. I didn't vlog um, when Alyssa came over because it was just, it was impossible. It was too much. But I'll put some of the photos that we shot here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope Hope it doesn't come across as hectic as I feel inside. Hopefully you got some kind of some tip or some strategy for packing that stuck with you. I'm definitely not like an expert packer. My suitcase is definitely overweight, but that's why I fly business class. Just kidding. 
not really. There's certain things that hopefully you can take away from this and learn about packing. And yeah, I just wanted to call out again to Seed. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Seed is coming with me to London. I will be taking Seed as soon as I wake up on the plane. That will definitely help with digestion while sitting on a plane. I have a code, an offer for 20%, which was a recent increase in the discount. So I don't know how long this is gonna last, so I wanted to call it out. And if you use my code, Helen Owen 20, you can get 20% off of your first order with Seed. All the info that you need to do that will be in the description of this video. You can go there, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Peace. There she goes. Off to London. See you soon.